We are gonna uh, jump uh, down to poster number nine next. This will be pyloroplasty revisited, a highly effective <coughs> treatment for gastroparesis being presented by Dr. Thomas Shin. Thank you for the opportunity to give this talk. Okay, I got nothing to disclose. Uh, gastroparesis is a uh, gastrointestinal disorder marked by delayed gastric emptying um, in the absence of mechanical obstruction. It affects approximately 4% of the population. Three most common causes of gastroparesis are idiopathic, diabetic, and post-surgical. The most common clinical symptoms are nausea, emesis, early satiety, abdominal pain, and bloating. The medical endoscopic treatment options for gastroparesis are uh, limited and consist mostly of diet modifications and medication regulant, the use of which is severely limited due to its potential side effects, um, and endoscopic injection of the pylorus Botox. Although the Botox injection have been shown to improve uh, temporarily gastric emptying, two randomized trials recently showed uh, no improvement of efficacy over that of saline injection, which leaves um, surgery as a potential primary uh, treatment option for gastroparesis. The surgical intervention for gastroparesis uh, includes decompressive uh, gastrostomy tube, feeding jejunostomy tube, gastric pacemaker, gastrectomy, and finally pyloroplasty. Of all these surgical procedures, pyloroplasty may be an ideal first-line surgery to perform because it avoids the hassle and the frequent complication associated with chronic indwelling catheters. It's not um, prohibitively expensive and restricted uh, like gastric pacemaker, and compared to gastrectomy, it's significantly less morbid and easier to perform. Our study was a retrospective study looking at 34 patients who underwent a laparoscopic pyloroplasty for treatment of gastroparesis. Uh, 20 of the patients in our group underwent a major other operation along with the uh, pyloroplasty, most commonly the fundoplication and hydrohernia repair. 14 patients in our group underwent pyloroplasty alone along with uh, plus minus minor procedures like lysis of adhesions and removal of gastric pacemaker. The primary outcomes were um, pre and post uh, symptomatic, uh, symptomatic severe score at three months follow-up, as well as uh, comparison of uh, medication use pre and post-operatively. At follow-up, patients have reported significant improvement of symptom severity score of abdominal pain, heartburn, bloating, dysphagia, regurgitation, and nausea, emesis, but their diarrhea uh, did not get worse after pyloroplasty, which is a potential side effect after pyloroplasty. The medication use, their uh, use of prokinetic and uh, anti-acid medication were significantly reduced after the operation. However, their anti-emetic uh, medication use were not significantly changed. Uh, 16 patients in our group underwent a um, gastric emptying study. Uh, majority of them showed significant improvement of gastric emptying. So in conclusion, laparoscopic pyloroplasty is an effective treatment for gastroparesis. Uh, providing uh, significant symptom relief commonly associated with the disease, and it can be performed safely with other major foregut operations. Thank you. As a pediatric surgeon, this is a not uncommon operation for us, and one of the things we know from our literature is that a Nissen fund application often changes your gastric emptying alone. Were you able to subset out and look at the patients that had a Nissen and whether they improved separate from the ones that had other procedures done? Uh, the patients in our group, uh, some of the patients who underwent uh, Nissen fund application along with uh, pyloroplasty, um, they presented with a lot of bloating symptoms that, and on the scopes had a lot of retained gastric, you know, food. Uh, to suggest gastroparesis. So we did uh, gastric emptying studies selectively uh, on those patients, people who had a, a redo fund application, all, almost all of them got a gastro pre, uh, gastric emptying study as a preoperative workup. And when they uh, showed delayed gastric emptying, we performed pyloroplasty along with them. Do you know specifically the patient that had a, a gastric pacer that you removed the wires of as the concomitant one? Did they improve with their pyloroplasty? Yes, three, three, there's three patients who had gastric pacemakers removed uh, because it didn't work, and all three of them had pretty good outcome afterwards. Yeah. And incident, but there was also three patients who actually had good response to Botox injections, uh, and they also had good outcomes as well. So I'm not sure. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.